a universe full of animals. Maybe I'll find new kinds of cats quick. Uh, sorry, I have to remember how to do this. Okay, so, whoops, back. Cats are purple. But what do I mix it with? That's not cats. In the universe, most celestial objects, including planets or moons, are covered by large amounts of water. Every surface is covered by deep oceans, vast, where life is abundant and diverse. Adapted to live in water, beings with gills to breathe and aquatic senses navigate through darkness of the abyss. The universe full of animals. Maybe I'll find new kinds of cats quickly. Maybe I can find a guide online or something. I don't know. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Last general seems to be blah blah blah. The same world? Oh! It is not. Oh god. They're not only animals, planets. Oh god. It's not cats, though. I'm looking for cats. No, it's the weird three eyed things. It's still the weird three eyed things. We need purple for cats. Mm hmm. Purple and green? Yeah. Because plants, plants and... It's just the shape I need to figure out. Oh. Uh, let's see. So, the number of segments tells you how advanced it's going to be. So, you probably don't want it to be super long. Right. You can see there, three gets you to the world of dinosaurs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven gets you to spacecraft. So, four, I'm going to guess, because five is modern civilization. It's either four or five, I'm not sure which. was a pain. Oh, I think I've made this world a bunch of times on accident. Oh, no, not, not. Not the dot. I didn't mean to do that. Mm. Oh wait, is it moss and water? Or is it moss and... Hang on. Turn off the music. There we go. 
Bandar Universe, interesting. Well, the universe that reminds him of his name. What? I I don't know what that means. Let's go to the market. See what's available this time. All right. What do you want, Leela? Oh, same shit, different day. Yeah. More pillows, more blankets, or curtain, or whatever. Right. What do you want, Leela? Someone what the fuck that is. <laughs> I think it's an abstract model of a spaceship. Hmm. Gonna get the green bowl, even though I don't think the bowls mean anything. There, now we pull. Just Dude. like me. Spreads over a world, but you could become young again. Oh boy! So we want a circle. I don't know that I wanted Russ, but we'll see. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, I go first try. Woo! I think. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, it's him. A lot of energy. I want to try using it as a battery. Ooh, boy. I'm guessing. Right.
perpetual explosion. Jesus. Ball? Do you, do you care about the color? That was easy. Where were we? I'm tired. No more working today. I have to recharge my energy. Oh, look at this place now. It's so homey. I don't like the monster with the tentacles. Why? It's bad. He cuts in pieces. Ah, so you know the story already then. Are you sure you don't want me to read you something else? No. Keep reading and don't ask such things. Uh huh. Okay. Let's continue. Seasons fly past, years pile upon years, while the child slumbers and the stars dance. And mankind thrives, pushing its advance. Without rest, it perseveres. But all that they were given to know is but themselves and their lonely earth. The stars observe, watching them grow, and the child fades like a memory of birth. But one day, another child is born, among men, who ceaselessly ask all manners of things. <laughs> who are we? What are our beginnings? And who made us? Why did he leave then? A child becomes a man, and all of his questions are into pursuits of knowledge and truth. And travels abroad, seeking through lessons of all existence, the ultimate root. Wherever he went, he found only doubt and no more than riddles as he wandered about. Just legends and myths and nursery rhymes and taunts on kindness and difficult times. Oh, okay. Nerve. What? Where where am I? Oh, look who just woken up. Our heretic. I must admit it, it's been very hard to catch you. One moment you were there, and the next you were gone. Intercepting you was harder than expected. It was a lot of work. Choices. I remember you. You wanted to catch me in the market. What? The market? 
during the war. I shot the android. War? Incorrect information. That call this refers to an encounter in the market sectors E2, E3, AD, F3. According to the logs, Cleric Onit and the cultists have met only once in Sector 5C. The encounter is thus incongruent with the logs. Ugh. Sorry, allergies. No, you're fine. The cultist also refers to a war, but I could not retrieve any information about any war having happened in the last few days. Good. That's not just me who's confused. The interceptor must have messed a bit with your brain. Forgive us. It's the first time we've used it. Snare devil added to the machine logs. False memory syndrome added to the collateral effects of the quantum interceptor. Quantum interceptor? What would that be? A device designed to detect intercept fluctuations in the space-time continue. Shut up! The less he knows, the better. Later today, the council will choose an appropriate punishment for your blasphemous acts. You know, demon. You may be a disgusting creature, but you've been a real stroke of luck for me. Your capture will propel my ascent in the ranks of the clergy. They may even make me a bishop. Let's go, Stair Devil. Oof. Let's keep her cool now. There must be a solution. Well, yes, this, eventually they'll be an interactable. What now? See, Leela, I said church were looking for him. Won't bet next time you buy me ramen. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Master, things have started to get a bit heated here. But how did you manage to find me? Bander told me that the church was looking for someone responding to your description. After you disappeared again, we asked around and eventually we were told that a cleric had caught a cultist. I disappeared? He no remember. This morning, one moment you were with me and the next you were gone, vanished into thin air. I believe they must have used some kind of teleportation to catch you. I don't know exactly how. And you came here to rescue me? <clears throat> yes, but there's no time to waste. We must leave this place. But how? Easy. I open. We leave. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's fucking super strong. Oof. Are you able to walk? I believe so. Well then, let's go. Bender made a big mess a moment ago. Soon this place will be swarming with clerical guards. <gasps> oh, look who got caught. Hey you, skeleton man, I remember you. Free poor Billy, please. What Billy did, the cleric, bring him in. Oh, Bandar, you have no idea. Those damn zealots. I was trying to feed a small colony of starving Lamari. Cleric saw me decided to throw me in the cold cell. Oh, so cold. The, ch the charge? Just having fed some poor Lamari. Pass, he called them. So rude. My poor Lamari deserves respect. Oh, and they also charged me with assaulting a public officer. I don't really think that's very relevant anyway. Do you happen to go ballistic when he called them pests? Ballistic? Me? I just kindly tried to make the uneducated cleric understand how marvelous these animals really are when he beat him with his guitar. So are you going to let me out or what? Of course. We should let him out. He didn't do anything wrong. Listen to the weird bony guy. I do not know why, but sure.
Thanks, Bandera. Your strength is always extremely handy. You need not worry. Mean feet come to ye in the next few days. Go figure, stingy furry. Never do anything for free. People, sorry to interrupt your bargains, but we really have no time for this. Oh, hi. Stop right there, criminal scum. Cool. We're totally screwed. May the judgment of the gods fall upon you. Don't even think about trying any funny business. Stay where we can see you. Put them back in their cell. Okay, give me the keys then. You should have them. No, you should have brought them. I bloody knew it, swear to the gods. We just made some copies of this just yesterday. Excuse us, if you need a moment to discuss the issue. Shut up, heretic. Listen, I'm going to get the keys. You stay here to keep an eye on the prisoners. No way I'm remaining here with these people. Have you seen how large that Arango is? Listen to you. The god Animus looks down upon your cowardice brother. If you're so confident, I'll go grab the keys myself. Uh, let's both stay here. Sooner or later, someone will come down here. Great plan. If you say so. I said shut up! Uh, uh, that's not helpful. Turn the lights off. For Lux, I can't see anything. Right, because the orangutan can see in the dark. Boat heap switch on light, please. Yeah, because the orangutan, good teamwork, Bone Heap. Because Rango, because fucking Bandar can see in the dark as orangutan. Happy to, happy ah! to have been of assistance. I get weapons and go outside. Make diversion so ye escape. No, Bandar, I'm coming with you. If you go outside by yourself, they will kill you. No, they like ye and Master must find other way. There must be a way to help you. <laughs> Maybe you can help them. I don't know. It's up to you. Fuck. <laughs> go, Billy. You... Fuck you. Billy could go with you. What? What? Good idea. But actually, I... Good for me. Here, laser gun. I refuse to use this thing. I'm a pacifist. Ah, uh, sorry. I put you back in the cell, yes? Uh, no need. Whatever. I'll do it. Okay, when you're ready, we should leave, too. They might recognize us if we walked around. I'll put these to the other clothes. Maybe we could disguise ourselves as with those tunics. We may be able to leave unnoticed. Good plan. Me with my skull face. Yep. They'll and, never question it. And my luck of neck. Impressive. What, this church? It's not all that incredible. Well, it's certainly nothing much compared to the ancient terrarious little churches. Certainly, but it's not what I meant. It's the clergy that I don't like at all. Yeah, all the, those I've met haven't been exactly friendly. Their church has control over the whole colony. Energy, food, security, they have their fingers in all the pies. How can they maintain this monopoly? It's the lie they constantly peddle about their many gods. They disguise tributes as offerings for the gods. Need energy? Make an offering to the appropriate divinity to receive it. 
You'd help with your sick child, make a monetary contribution to some god to get the right medicine. And people totally fall for it. They're con artists. Yes, it's certainly wrong to lie to people of this colony. We must place value in free thought, not numb it. Exactly. It's very clear that such a system is unsustainable. Energy and food shortages and authoritarian tendencies on top of that, it's just not right. There's no accountability. Anyhow, we need to find a way out. Well, oh, that's me. Bandar and Billy, sorry. Must be creating a diversion going that way. Better not get involved. Hey, they came to get uh, a little universe. Oh, yeah. Hey, robots. Good day to you. Sigh, is it really a good day? Sigh. The main door is blocked. Do you know of any alternative exit? No, I have no idea of any secondary exit. Forgive me, my motivator chip is a bit rusty. It's the water, see? Always water. Sigh. So I'm a bit blue at the moment. Oh, sorry to hear. Sigh. Well, have a good day. Will it really be good? Uh. Good day. Zzz. Are you all right? Don't worry about him. Gashin can't talk. Why? We share a voice processor. It's Friday today, so it's my turn. Understood. Haven't we met before? Yes, we talked at Hinon's tea house. Exactly. Last Wednesday, we were there to escort Bada, our owner. He loves tea. But even more, he loves to preach his es oh my god, eschatological lessons to the other clients. That must be him. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm guessing Luckily, he's asleep. Are those surveillance screens? There's some clues to where the back exit might be. Better not wake him up. Hey, what? Well, then how can I look at the screens? Ah, good morning. Oh, a cult is coming to the afternoon mass? How sweet. Have you seen Saja? Even cultists are good guys. Ugh, whatever. Forgive me for being impertinent, but may I ask which god you direct your prayers to? Yes, you're being impertinent now. If you please, could you leave us? Saja! As probably you are to others. I hope that the Amoris twins didn't hear you. No problem, dear. In our life, we have followed the path of countless lords. But now that our life is coming to an end, we often direct our prayers to side tests to quickly lead us to our eternal rest. Of course, always remembering Sister Familia, who will watch over our children and grandchildren when we are no longer here. Do the followers of the church not look kindly upon the cultists? And how should we see you, a bunch of blasphemous laybots? That's what. Saja! We'll settle this later. Please don't mind him. 
I can't deny that many people in the church are a bit reluctant towards those who don't follow the path of the gods. But don't see it as wickedness, rather as insecurity. The teachings of the goddess Lustithia often say so. Plates of suffering cover the road to wisdom. Those plates are for your feet, not for those who do not follow your same path. But alas, many purists are not remembering the words that would serve their hearts best. I'll leave you to your prayers. Have a good day. Grunt. Master, it's an honor. How'd you manage to get in here? Are you aware of the danger you're in? Who are you? They call me Ignacia. I'm here to gather some information about the church. But please don't let anyone know I'm here. I already have quite a reputation for revealing some illegal activities. Just to say this meeting never took place. A whistleblower, am I right? That's the idea. What makes you think I'm in danger? I know many things, Master. For instance, I'm aware that some members of the clergy are obsessed with you. Why? That's what I was hoping you would tell me, but I guess some secrets are better kept than others. Anyway, I see you're a bit confused. Maybe some information about the church would be helpful for you? What kind of information? Anything that goes against the collective well-being. Do you know why the church is looking for me? That's what I was hoping you... Oh. Sorry. We have kidnappings. If someone becomes a threat to their philosophy, it doesn't take long for them to, to make them disappear. But I don't think you're more of a threat than any other cultist. And by unspoken agreement between cultists and clerics, there must be peace. So I assume they want something from you, which is very interesting. But other than that, I don't know anything else. Can you explain how the church control over the society of Jupiter works? It's a long story, but I'll try to be brief. You see, after Jupiter mind closed, everything became self-managed. Bartering was the only way to make a transition, and public services were completely eliminated. In this context, the church found a magnificent ground to cultivate. It began to take care of all the public services thanks to its previous monopoly on the trade of droids. It established a credit system and imposed taxes masses offering for its gods. Over time, the power of the church followed everything, turning it into a real government. In itself, it's not so bad. Many accept it willingly, but the problem is that the church became judge, jury, and executioner. And that's something that cannot be accepted. In fact, I warn you, things will heat up very soon. How does the chain of command work within the church? The archie takes inspiration from the one held by the Catholic religion up to five centuries ago. At the bottom of the list, we find the droids, also called deacons, who, although solace, are considered direct children of servitex. Then there are the priests who perform many of the more humble and bureaucratic tasks. I think one of them is looking for you. Next are the high priests, those who hold masses and collect offerings. All of those are commanded by the archbishop, who are essentially the managers of the sectors. The ones who hold power over Jupiter is Lupar. And at the top of the list is the supreme order, composed of patriarchs for each god, carrying their messages. The order is located on Neptune, and in fact the power is very relative given the great distances, so much as in the hands of the archbishop. I wish you a good day. Remember, we have never seen each other. Okay, I figured it out. I'm an idiot. Okay. Here we go. All right. Timo, at your service. The main door is locked. Oh, it's you. The main door is locked. Do you need 
Fuck! Do you know of any other way out? The masters talk about a secret exit sometimes, but I've never seen it. What are you doing here? Gosh, it plows the earth. I plant the seeds, right, Gashin? Could Gashin lend me that hoe? Of course, whatever you need, Master. Okay, I didn't see Barbie on this, but I hope we're not about to kill a bitch with a hoe. I'm guessing he's going to use it to type on the, the keyboard over his back, basically. No? What am I doing? I can try to hit him with the hoe. That's not a hoe, that's a sigh. He's dead. Wow, good hit. Is he still alive? Who cares? He's got severe brain damage if he's not. This room. Wait, why do they have an octopus statue? Mm. I don't think we saw it before. Could it be a secret entrance? <gasps> Here, this is for the room we saw on the screen earlier. How do we reach it? I think there may be some kind of tunnel. I can see stairs, a secret passage, perhaps? Let's go check. We may find something. Bye! Peace out, guys. Wait, what? This tile, it seems to be moving. Okay. Click on it. Woohoo! Whoa. Oh, welcome. Not again. Greetings, brother. Don't pay attention to us. We're just. <laughs> Don't you worry. I mean you no harm. My name is Marco. I'm the archivist of the treasure room. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What is this treasure room? In this room are preserved the various objects that the church considers heretical or blasphemous. Whatever may contaminate the souls of men, if you are inclined to believe what the clergy says. Normally, they're just harmless artifacts from old religions. A hole for junk, then? Oh, please don't say that. My duty is to analyze and catalog whatever ends up here. I'm just a scholar, you see. If you see some object of interest, just let me know. I'd be happy to tell you all about its history. Why aren't you calling the guards on us? I know it might seem strange. But I'm not really a standard clergyman. 
be honest, but don't go saying it around. I've been, I've been, a, it's been a while since I stopped believing in the circle of many gods. Interesting. What made you change your mind? My scholarly work, sitting here cataloging all these priceless treasures. It just gave me a lot of pause, a lot of doubts about my faith. After a while, I understood that there are many ways to tell a story. And believing blindly in just one makes you lose the ability to see the greater picture. Congratulations, you did the same thing that the fucking cult did without cutting yourself to pieces. We're in trouble. The main doorway is locked. We came here hoping to find a way out. Can you help us? Of course, that tunnel will take you directly to the main square. The main square? How can that be? It's a secret passage built many years ago by Archbishop Piranha. He was a paranoid type, so he commissioned the passage in case of insurrection that never materialized itself. You can use that to escape. It's the safest way. Thanks. Okay. Oh, that drama has its eyes. Things seem to be coming from all over the system. My name is Marco. I'm the Kairos Children. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Anyway, that oh, oh. <laughs> You already asked that, so I'll just yeah. pummel through that. There's a fertility statue over here. He seems to know a lot of the system. Let's see. What we can see. Lots of interesting things. But most interesting. Nice artifact day. It's one of my favorites. An ancient statue of the Gahara Samudar. It's really rare. It represents the cosmic crack in the Stains the universe, separating the material from the spiritual. One of the symbols that the Church of Many loathes most. Why so much hatred? Because it represents the separation between humanity and gods. Is it such a bad thing? Very, our religion venerates gods that are present right beside us. We share the same world, and they help us every day by constantly influencing and controlling our actions. Thinking that there may be another world where the laws of space-time reality reside would mean that the gods don't really live with us, but on the other side, abyssally distant and impossible to perceive. It also means that however difficult the man may be able to cross the ocean of the Kraken, this crossing would mean that one could become one with the gods, the supreme blasphemy in the eyes of the church. This is exactly what the cultist says, reaching illumination to reach the other side of existence. This is what the clergy don't like you. This is why the clergy don't like you at all. This tunnel should carry us out of this cursed church. Lula, should we go? Hmm. Layla? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What are you looking at? This thing. Do you... what about it sparks your interest? I I'm unsure. 
It makes me feel weird as if as if it hated me. Actually, it's pretty creepy. I must admit, it has an effect on me too. Hey, look. Silence. Hilo, are you okay? Uh, what happened? You looked entranced. Perhaps we should go. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. I must just be tired. Are we going? Yes, I'm ready to go. Phew, we made it. Yes, but what now? The church will be looking for us everywhere. Hmm. You're right, but I don't particularly care. I haven't felt this way for such a long time. I feel alive. Well, I understand. I've been quite adrenaline-packed. It's been quite an adrenaline-packed adventure. It's not just that. I can't really explain. It's been some days already that I felt like this. I'm just realizing it now. It has to do with time, as if it started to flow again, well, before everything was still. I looked at that, when I looked at that statuette, it made me feel very static again, like everything was so immobile. Everything was so far away, I felt like you were far. It was just terrifying. But it made me realize how much my life was just some days ago before. Where you started opening up, Leela. You're changing. Your view of the world has shifted. Maybe, but the only reason I'm doing this is because you are here. You. You are the reason. I have no idea why, but before you arrived, it felt like the whole world was unreal. It was like an eternal stare in that statuette's cold eyes. Without past or future, eternally waiting an endless now. But I don't really know what that means. What's going on? What is this feeling? Leela, I... No, please, I know. I must be insane, forgive me. I'm just so tired. I have been sleeping much these days. I keep dreaming of my parents, reading my passages from a strange book. We better go now. Yes, we can talk about it later. As long as the church doesn't catch us. Let's do this. I'll go home now. Come find me as soon as you can. It's behind my stall where we met for the first time. Good. Good. Ben, see you later. See you later, Lila. Are you still reading there? Mommy! Come here, please! How are you now? The cough? A bit better. Hopefully, but I think I'll go to bed now. I need a good rest to recover my strength. See you tomorrow, okay? But, Mom... Come on, Lily. Let your mother go. She needs rest. I'm sure that Daddy will tell you the story just as well as I. You heard the captain.
Okay. Good night, my loves. Try not to stay up too late. Good night, hon. So where were we? Here, from here. For decades he sought, forsaking all rest. At last, a wise elder bestowed him a clue. The depths of the ocean shall be your last test, and then you shall find the truth you pursue. As he reached the far shore of the ocean of night, the man summoned forth the deep god of old. From bottomless depths arose in full might the kraken, leviathan who blankens the world. The man resolute stared up without fear and asked the kraken, show him the unknown. The beast nodded lightly and gurgled in sneer, requiring his pawn something of his own. The man is of flesh and bodily substance. The gods are instead devoid of all. One form shall be left on the shores of existence, cause sign of the mind to drift and to be scattered. The man remained silent, attentive to all. Then all of a sudden, without hesitation, he accepted the deal, for he was in thrall, and gurgles of mockery turned to exhalation. Boop. You wake up again. Where in the timeline are we now? Because we've been to the war. Uh-oh. Census report, residential sector A-27. A warning was issued. An alarming infestation of Lomari has been detected. Five to seven pests were spotted behind a residential area. The high concentration of individuals is likely motivated by the presence of a nest. If this is the case, a pest control procedure must be carried out as swiftly as possible. Ugh. Why is it that I'm always the one they assigned to this type of job? I thought that being the Archbishop's nephew would have earned me honor and respect. Instead, my uncle barely pays me any attention. At best, I'm just an embarrassment to him. It's not my fault. How can I show my value if all I'm tasked to do is take counts of bins and trash cans? I'm capable of great things. One day I'll show them. I just need to find the right assignment. Oh, that's the first time we've seen him come back. Wah! Oof. I'm starting to feel a bit tired of this. Where have we ended up around this time? That's not the line, but whatever. Yeah. Those Lamars are everywhere. Wow, everywhere. You found the nest. There's a lot of them. This must be their nest. Maybe this is where they all come from. They lay eggs? Well, apparently they're either marsupials or not mammals. Huh. What is this? I'm assuming an egg? Doesn't look very stable. Oh, this is the outside of Leela's ship. Oh. Where am I going? Am I going back? Trash cans, where am I? Uh, Motherfuck.
Wait, that one? That must be Leela's house. I'm just under the main window. Hello, anyone there? Hinan, I'm calling to make a booking. Oh god. Yes, yes, hello to you too. Yes, I know. I know there's always a free spot for me. How very kind of you. Listen, this time I need a private table. What do you think? I need some private space? For once, I just don't want to share my table with your usual stinky customers, okay? Why are you always so nosy? Okay, I'm coming with a friend. You don't know him. He's not from here. No, I have no idea where he's from. He's a cultist. I met him at the market. Is she talking about me? I don't know. Hinan, I don't bloody know. Listen, we'll be there tomorrow night, okay? Good. She just booked a table with me, Hinan. But we already met it, Hinan, so... So now we are... Stop right there, heretic. Freeze. Tell me why you keep chasing me. What? Never seen the likes of you in my whole life, heretic. Of course you've never seen me leave. I would remember an ugly face like yours. You cultists disgust me. With your deranged ideas, grotesque mutilations, and... Sorceries. Sorceries who are you even talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I've seen you use that sorcery of yours just now. You saw? You appeared from thin air. What? I've heard people talk about your kind. You know, if you don't start minding your own business, I'll come to your tea house, but instead of my friend, I'll bring a can of flammable fuel. And I'll burn that shack of yours down. Um, time to move. Heretic, follow me, and you will receive your judgment. Let me explain, I... Shut up. I know what you are. You're a devil. Devil? You travel across dimensions. Such a power belongs only to the gods. You come to the mortal world to steal people's souls. Listen, it's complicated. You let me just explain, surely. I won't let your devilish words distract me. I should have known that people like you hid among the heretics of the cult. Filthy unholy cultists. Bye bye. No. He disappeared. He's gone. Hey, you there. What the hell are you doing behind my house? Oh, I'm conducting a census, miss. Please forgive me for my trouble. Beat it, you pervert. Find someone else to bother. Uh, I must find that cultist. If I catch him, Uncle will surely promote me. I won't be cutting bins ever again. I must ask Dawes for a bounty hunter droid. Are you still there? No.